Hello, so in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my swap of a six-speed manual transmission into my five-speed manual Subaru Impreza. Now, in a previous video, I showed you the, uh, the process of putting the lift on, um, and I put 215 uh, 65R16 tires on it. I think that's the size just off the top of my head. And uh, I was really happy with the lift, uh, but one thing that I was noticing uh, as the months went by and I drove it daily was that the, the RPMs uh, were really kind of suffering. The stock gearing of the, the 411 gearing in the, the transmission and the rear differential was having a tough time keeping up with the, uh, the new taller tires. And my transmission was having some issues and I, re and I decided, you know, when it comes time to replace the transmission, I'm going to pull the trigger on a, a six speed transmission with the 444 gears and get that matching rear diff to, uh, to get me the back into the, that optimal RPM range. So this is what, uh, the video is going to focus on. Um, just, uh, Here's the new quick uh, little, right here's what it is. So I'm not going to really go into details on how I got the transmission out, except to say that if you're doing it in your garage like I am, it really, really helps if you can use some kind of a ratchet strap or something to pitch the engine back uh, so you're not trying to fight with the engine uh, sliding the transmission out. So you pitch the engine back, you can slide that transmission out of there easier. And you won't uh, be cussing and hitting your life. But anyways, apart from that, I'm not really going to touch on the, the removal itself. But as you can see, the transmissions themselves are exactly the same length. Right down to the tail housing. So you don't need to worry about modifying your drive shaft or getting the drive shaft to match or any of the rest of it. Bolt out, bolt in. All right, so the new transmission is in. Drive shafts are connected. Stock cross member bolts up exactly in the same locations. I still have a couple more nuts to put in there, but uh, so no modifications needed to that. The output shaft pops out at the same place. And now instead of the linkage uh, system that you had before, you've got cables. So you may need to make sure and get the adjustment on this cable dialed in just right before you close this box up, otherwise once the drive shaft and exhaust and skid plates and all the rest of it are in, it's going to be next impossible to get to it without taking all that back out again. So this is the interior with the shifter installed. This is a factory WRX short throw shifter. Um, the, you will find the part number in the description of the video uh, the, with the factory uh, steering knob. I chose the, uh, the carbon fiber gray with the silver bezel ring. Uh, the boot is uh, like a $10 Amazon special. Uh, I couldn't reuse the factory boot because of the, the gluing on the, the collar. Uh, I would have had to cut the whole thing away and redo it, so I just decided to use this. And it sleeved right over the, uh, the edge of the, the uh, lifter ring and everything worked out real nice. So for shifting in reverse, there's this, this lifts up to bypass the, the shift stop and shift over into reverse. Uh, you may find that you have to uh, adjust some of the, the stops in there to, to get it to shift. I know the, the first drive I took with it after put in, uh, it kept trying to grab reverse when I was shifting down into six. I had to readjust it, but once I did that, everything uh, lined up really nicely. It's been great for me ever since.
Okay, so a quick uh, conclusion. Uh, as of the time of the this video, my transmission's been in for about six months. Uh, daily driven it uh, hundreds, thousands of miles uh, with zero issues whatsoever. I uh, did not have to do anything at all uh, in the way of computer programming or anything like that. It's a, it's a dummy transmission. It's got two plugs, uh, one for the neutral safety sensor and one for the backup uh, light switch. As far as the computer is concerned, nothing's changed. Um, but the, the car has got a whole new feel to it now. It's right back in that uh, prime RPM range and um, handles very nicely. The gearing in the transmission uh, for gears one through four, as well as in the reverse gear, the gearing, the gear ratio is identical to the five MT with the exception that, uh, the fifth and sixth gear kind of straddle that, um, that compromised fifth gear that the five MT had. So you have a, a good highway speed gear for cruising in six, but if you need a kick down gear for hill climbing, or if you happen to be towing something and then you can just pop right down into fifth, you don't have to split that difference and bog it in the fifth gear anymore on the 5MT. The 6MT is a fantastic transmission. Um, I did not have to get any special or new drive shafts or anything. They popped right in um, the stock ones. Uh, same with the rear diff. Um, the installation process on the rear diff almost isn't even worth mentioning, uh, except for the fact that you will have to change out the rear diff to get the matching gears. It took me literally half an hour to swap it out. I didn't even have to pull the rear drive shafts. The old one came out, the new one popped right in. It was super easy. Um, and like I said, yeah, no, no issues at all. No weird electrical gremlins, no issues with the backup lights. Um, everything works just like it should. Uh, and it's, it's a lot of fun to drive.